David, thank you for for have this time with with us. Um, uh, we know that it's not the first time that you are uh, having a film uh, in a topic, or in a biblical topic or a spiritual topic. Um, why did you choose the the story of Abraham in in this case? Yeah, well, this uh, my desire to want to tell uh, Abraham's life uh, story. And particularly this account of when the Lord tested him by asking him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Uh, this came out of, uh, you know, as you said, I, I, I did a number of different biblical films, biblical short films for about a decade. Uh, and I started that journey after I got out of the Marine Corps at film school in San Francisco, uh, where I encountered a lot of non-believing friends uh, over there. And whenever I would talk about wanting to do biblical films or I would talk about my faith time and time again, I found that with non-believers, this account in Genesis 22 was was a very common point of contention where it, for them, they viewed it as this reason why they wouldn't worship God. They'd say, oh, well, you worship a God who would tell a man to sacrifice his son. Uh, that's cosmic child abuse. I don't want anything to do with that. So I wanted to dive into scripture and really get to the heart of why the Lord was testing Abraham in such a way, what he was doing in Abraham's life, and what he was pointing to in redemptive history. And because it, it's so clearly a picture of Christ. And so I thought if I could illustrate that for non-believers, it would give them an answer. And hopefully by God's grace, uh, show them the truth of the gospel, that their eyes would open, they'd come to saving faith in Christ. But uh, on one hand, give, so give an answer to non-believers. But for believers, I found time and time again that that my brothers and sisters in Christ didn't know how to answer uh, the non-believers in their own lives and the scoffers and the skeptics in their own lives when they would bring up this same point. So hopefully this film uh, gives an answer and equips believers in such a way that they're able to, uh, to answer those hard questions uh, with their non-believing friends and family. Okay, thank you. It's very interesting the the approach that you are doing uh, to the to the scripture in in this case. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, w w what is the um, uh, the the difficulties that uh, carrying out uh, a project like 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 this? And in in I I suppose that in different ways you you face uh, uh, difficulties. T t tell tell us about it. Yeah, well, I didn't realize whenever I started this film journey, uh, just this journey of making his only son, this started for me five and a half years ago. I mean, my journey in doing biblical films started almost 15 years ago, but but this film in particular, I started this five and a half years ago, and I didn't realize that I'd be entering into the most hard, difficult, trying, and heart-wrenching years of my life, um, and that is in all aspects. I'm talking about every type of opposition spiritual physical uh financial <laughs> uh everything uh, just my whole life I, I i say turned upside down and lit on fire and in many cases it, it still is on fire but um uh, but through that uh the lord has shown his hand of grace and mercy um uh, and that it's it you know he 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 does that to us he takes us through the fire so that the world can see Christ with us in the fire. And so that that everyone will know that it's by his strength alone and it's by his ability alone and not mine. Um, and so, yeah, there has been a lot of difficulty. And uh, but but the difficulty just just uh, just works to to turn my eyes to Christ, <laughs> which that's the way the Lord uses it. Um, mm -hmm. That's interesting. Uh, the, the story of Abraham is a uh, story of faith and and he's challenged in his faith uh did you see the same in your in your life during this journey oh I, absolutely um and i didn't know how much i would see it i mean because i entering into these hard challenges um i the lord was so gracious in giving me this account of Abraham's life of what it really looks like to wait on the Lord when you don't understand what's going on, but you know that the Lord is doing something good in it and he keeps his promises. And so to focus on that 
through every dark and lonely night, um, through every trying situation, uh, to to realize that my to to the father of our faith and my my ultimately my big brother in Christ Abraham, <laughs> you know, who is very much alive today uh, with the Lord um, in paradise. That 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 he went through waiting that was way longer than than I'm having to go through in whatever I'm waiting for now. Uh, and so and and the and that the Lord had a purpose in it. So that was a big encouragement to me. Mm -hmm. um, we know that uh, made a, a film a movie uh, is is not easy, and also it's not easy when you don't have a big uh, company. Uh, that is supporting you. So uh, it's kind of like an indie movie, but it's very professional. And uh, how how oh, was the you. shoot? Uh, what uh, in which locations did you do it? And how uh, how was your approach to have this uh, this kind of difficulties of, of having a, a good movie, but also with uh, lower uh, with not much money to 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 invest on on that. Yeah, this is you're right. We, I mean, we were fully independent. We didn't have an, a studio behind us. As a matter of fact, you know, Angel Studios, who's our distributor, they discovered the film after it was fully finished. Uh, and so going into it, I knew that the budget was going to be extremely low. And it was actually so low in comparison that the, 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 the hard cost, the hard cash budget of his only son was less than $250,000. And you're looking at a typical theatrical release in the United States, the average theatrical release is about $50 million if you look it up. Um, and so that in contrast, you see how much less we had to work with. Um, and so that that meant that I just, um, at one, we shot um, on a very, a very tight schedule. So we had just a few days to shoot it in. We had like 14 main production days that we had to shoot the mm -hmm. film in and we had the lord blessed us with such beautiful locations all around the greater los angeles area we shot it all in in uh, around the desert in california and and uh, out in the hills north of los angeles and, and just beautiful landscapes that was able to really add a big amount of production value um but but on top of that i knew that i would have to wear a lot of hats as a as i've grown accustomed to doing with all of my short films and and so that meant I um, like how I, how I had to teach myself uh, with my short films over the decades of doing all these little biblical, these biblical shorts. Uh, I, I had to teach myself how to sew costumes and do all the visual effects. And little did I know that those hard years of doing that for, for the, that decade of doing these little biblical shorts, that the Lord was actually honing skills in me that I would need to incorporate into his only son due to the budget constraints. So with his only son, I had to sew all the costumes again. I had to do all the visual effects work. I mean, there's like over a hundred costume pieces wow. in his only son. And, and so, so I sewed almost all of those. Um, there's a couple of like armor pieces and stuff that we rented and like sandals that we rented. Um, but then and with the visual effects, there's over 325 visual effects shots in the film. You wouldn't realize that when you watch the film, but there are a lot of visual effects. And that includes like making miniatures out of like cardboard and paper towels and, and doing a lot of green screen work and stuff. That all took years. And that's why it's been five and a half years since I started this film. And now it's just coming out. Um, mm. And so, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, it's um, it's just a just a whole lot of a whole lot of sweat, a whole lot of patience, a whole lot of prayer. Mm -hmm. um, the film is now coming to Spain, but it has already been rela released in the United States and other countries, as well as being accessible through the Angel Studios app. I think that two million people saw the, the film through the app. So uh, what do you think wow. uh, about the, the reaction of the people who are watching the film? And, and what are they do they're talking about the, the film? Yeah, it's um, you know, I've seen a lot of really um, touching comments. Uh, it's it, you know, it, it's been received very well with audiences, and actually even very well with critics, um, which is which is astounding. <laughs> I mean, not only so it was a huge success in the United States box office. I mean, when it came out the first weekend, it came out, it was number three in the box office 
behind John Wick and Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and ahead of like Creed three and Shazam. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's standing up in the box office with big boys that are done for like, you know, tens of millions of dollars. Um, and uh, but but some of the great greatest comments that I see time and time again is people coming away so moved by the film that they immediately go and dive into scripture and go and read scripture for themselves. And that was that's my whole reason for wanting to do biblical films in the first place. That's why when I left the Marine Corps and I and I wanted to go and do biblical films was for that purpose to 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 draw people to the word so that they could have their eyes open to the truth of the gospel and the truth of scripture uh, for themselves. But, but yeah, seeing people's reaction of um, uh, just how touched they are and where it meets people at in, because, because it's a film that really depicts struggle, not only Abraham's struggle, giving up his son, but you're dealing with Sarah's struggle to have a son at the same time uh, in the film. And, and it's ministered to a lot of people. And what's, what's really encouraging to me is seeing um, my brothers and sisters in the Lord that are very doctrinally discerning and that would typically be like, ah, oh, you know, when, when it comes to Christian media or, or it comes to uh, anything that, that, that has to do with the Bible, they're, they're very, very cautious. But to see it be received very well from them, uh, with them and them saying like, "Look, this is the best biblical film I've ever seen." I actually saw <laughs> saw a brother comment that the other day, and I'm like, "Man, this guy's super solid, and he's super strict when it comes <laughs> to media." And for him to say that's highly encouraging. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things that I I read about the the film is that the the Abraham uh, character uh, he's not a uh, typical hero he's very human so uh you mm -hmm. you you uh, you want to to show that he he has to 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 fight with uh, his unbelief and with the mm -hmm. the issues that he's uh, facing in 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 his life yeah yeah that that was i really wanted to show because you look at most biblical biblical film projects we've seen done in the in the hundred years of hollywood uh it always depicts these biblical characters with this varnish like they're making everybody like everybody's christ well no that's not how it that's not how it is even in you know that in your own life that when you if you are walking by faith and if you are walking in obedience like we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in the heavenlies. And, you know, even Paul, when he's writing in Romans 7, right, he's like, oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? There's a war not only going on in the spiritual world, but there's a war going on when we're redeemed, when the Holy Spirit dwells within us at our point of conversion. We're at war with 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 our own flesh so even what we want to do we're not doing and we're doing what we don't want to do and so it's this constant war um and so to show abraham because we could see in scripture abraham he struggled with 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 fear that's why he he lied about it you know it half lied about his wife you know be like oh you know she's not my wife she's my sister even though she was his half sister and uh you know i mean for those familiar with the biblical text it you, they know what i'm talking about if not they can go and look it up <laughs> but uh <laughs> Uh, and, and you know, it's uh, you could see that 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 it had to have been a heavy moment for him. And if anyone doubts that, I would direct them to the Lord, the the sinless God Man, Jesus Christ, in the Garden of Gethsemane, praying to the Father, "Let this cup pass from me, not my will, but yours be done." Uh, to so we even see the weight of of the that the Lord had to carry when walking forward sinlessly in obedience. Um, and you're going to tell me that, that, that all these, these, these men that were not God <laughs> would have just went like, Oh yeah, I, no, no, no struggle at all. I'm just going forward in my life of obedience. No way. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully this resonates with people and shows people that, that the people in that we read in biblical history were just like us today. They had to go forward walking in obedience by faith alone by God, through God's grace alone and all they had to hold on to was God's word alone um, God said and therefore I'm going to do and that's the same for us today
Mm -hmm. uh, this is inspiring. Um, attending the success of his only son, and I think that uh, also in Spain, we, we hope that uh, many people could uh, see the movie. Uh, do you think there is more room for pay films uh, in, in, our, in our world uh, that is always looking for new movies? Well, this is, uh, I think um, the success of faith-based films in the box office is showing that there's room for it. And the more that they're successful, the more that the secular companies are going to uh, give space to it because because they're ultimately just in it for the dollar. And if they see that, oh, it's making dollars, <laughs> uh, it's making money in the box office, then, then they'll continue to make room in the box office for projects like this. Um, but but uh, my my encouragement uh, and advice to to my brothers and sisters in the Lord and people that are looking for this kind of content is the more and more uh, that these things are successful, the more content that calls itself Christian or calls itself biblical will make its way into the box office. But that is a call for us to be that much more discerning because everything that puts on the name of Christ is not of Christ. You need to be like the Bereans and, and search the scripture and see that what's being said in this film, does this line up with God's word or does it not? Um, and uh, and don't just believe everything you hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that uh, creative people never stop creating. So are there other projects that you are participating in or that you would like to start? Oh yeah, man. So my, my heart, is to continue to work chronologically through scripture. Um, and, and, and that's that's it. I got into films to do biblical films. And if the biblical far if the biblical part was taken off, uh, then I'd want I'd, I wouldn't want to do films anymore. I'd want to just go in and, and try to teach the Bible in some other aspect. But uh, so for me, um, by Lord willing, I just want to keep making one film after another that walks through scripture. And, and right now through the Old Testament uh, that shows people the prophecies and promises that point to Christ. And you and you see in context that building anticipation that 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 mankind was building and God was leading his people, the children of Israel, to the coming Messiah, to Christ. Uh, and so actually right now I'm in development. Um, we've already begun developing. I'm actually planning a writing retreat right now, uh, and we're looking at – at uh, different budget stuff uh, for the next film, uh, which will be over the life of Jacob. Um, and so it'll be more of a life story uh, type film. And it'll pick up before the death of Abraham and actually before the, the, the birth of Jacob and go through the whole life of Jacob. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, we're uh, things are moving fast with that one. And I'm excited to get going on that one. But that's what's next, Lord willing. Uh huh. So um, we we hope to we look forward for to seeing the, those movies in in the future. Uh, David, thank yeah. you for this time and thank you for being with us uh, to talk about his only son. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Thank you for uh, interviewing me.